Can I vlog, please? Thank you. Hello friends, Tara here for another weekly vlog. I think this is the fourth in a row, which is the most I've done in a row, except for Vlogmas, where obviously I was doing one every day. Let me know if Vlogmas is still a thing. I actually really look forward to it, and I want to keep doing it. Like, I don't care if no one else is doing it. I still kind of want to do it because I always want to do like Christmassy things, but then I'm like, well, there's no point to do this children's Christmas craft unless, oh, if I vlog it, then that's a reason. Like when I should just feel comfortable doing the craft and not putting it on video and just spending my adult money the way I want to. But anyway, this week is very exciting because we are taking Peanut to a baseball game, a minor league <laughs> baseball game that is allowing dogs to come to the game. It is called Bark in the Park. I'm so excited. So I bought some baseball <laughs> fabric so that Peanut can have a special baseball scarf to go to the game and I probably like I don't know if I explained this like in the video where I took peanut camping why Peppy never gets to go anywhere Peppy does get to go places it's just that at her age she doesn't want to go anywhere she'll go on a walk but she can't go as far as peanut she can't go as fast as peanut not because of her age but because she has to sniff every two feet for like 10 seconds so it's like an hour to get around the block but she's on and off with the car like sometimes she hates the car and she shakes the whole time sometimes she'll just fall asleep in the car like i don't know what to expect so that rules out taking her anywhere far the last time we took her somewhere in the car to have fun we took her to a local like restaurant but it's like you walk up and order and you don't like sit inside it's just like walk up and eat I don't know what those are called I can't think of it right now but it's like on a river next to a park so you go and you can't bring your pets like in the eating area but you can eat with them in the park so like Mike and I would bring Peppy and Pina and we would sit one of us would sit in the park and the other one would go get the food she had such a bad experience like in the car and didn't want to be there so bad she wouldn't even eat a chicken tender like she wouldn't eat so that's when I said to Mike like I think it's time to stop friggin peppy places because if she went somewhere and wouldn't even eat chicken tenders like it's not worth it she's not enjoying herself so that's why peppy doesn't go anywhere so this is a scarf I got from like you know how they have fabric remnants that are super cheap I bought this as a remnant this fabric and it, it I, I thought I could make like a cute skirt out of it I don't know how to make a skirt but I, I don't think it was big enough. So I made this dog scarf and this is the one that fits her the best. So whenever I get new fabric to make a dog scarf, I use this as a template. And then, so this is the baseball. And then I have a couple others I'm gonna make because if I'm gonna get the sewing machine out, I'm gonna make a few others. So this is a fat quarter from Walmart because Walmart does sell fabric and some Walmarts will cut the fabric for you. So I got this from Walmart. It's like one quarter of a yard. I think that's why it's called a fat quarter. This is also a fat quarter so you can see like how much it is. It like fits in the frame. Like it's not that much fabric but it's perfect for a dog scarf. So this one is, I'm going to make two, one for each of them because it's generic dog. And then I have a couple fall ones. So I have this like glitterly, glitterly, it's literally glittery, glitterly with leaves. This is kind of like foiled pumpkin. So cute. We have candy corn, one of the most controversial candies of all time. And we have spider web which is also glittery I don't know if you can tell and then I still have more of this which I might I think I'm gonna make another scarf for Peppy because we have a fall photo shoot coming up in the backyard me and the dogs I don't know if I'm gonna make it into a video I'm like on the fence about it but we'll see so basically I just cut the fabric I have to cut it like a little bit bigger than this because you do fold over the hem and then literally you just fold a hem and 
I don't do anything special to like finish it. I just literally make a hem. Like it's, it's a dog scarf. So yeah, this is the one I made the scarf out of. I couldn't make it a skirt because it wasn't long enough to do like a hem and then the waistband. Like it would have been, things would have been hanging out. I have a lot of it left, but not enough to make something for myself. But I'm thinking about either like a head scarf, like one you can tie on your head, like a headband, or like a neck, hear me out, a neck scarf. Because think about it, the dogs have them on their necks, I would have it on my neck, and I've seen cool people rocking the neck scarf. Kelsey from the Sorry Girls. I've seen her do it multiple times recently. So, I don't know. I gotta think about it. I don't know what the dimensions of that would be. I'd have to look up a pattern online. So that is for another day. But for now, I'm gonna focus on dog scarves. So I cut out as many as I could. I probably could have made one more out of each thing of fabric, maybe, but I don't think it would fit them comfortably. Like I'd have to make it smaller than this. It really does have to be this thick because they have a lot of fur and I don't want them to be like choking. But on that note, if anyone has any suggestions of what kinds of things I could make out of like these tiny pieces of fabric that I have left, some of it I have like a longer piece, but it's still like a quarter of a yard or like less than that thick. I forget. I think I got a quarter of a yard when I got these. So the fat quarter might be bigger. I purposely only cut one scarf out of this candy corn because I might make a mask for my friend that loves candy corn and she loves to argue with people about it. So I think that would be funny. I just don't know how to do that and if I make one, it's definitely not going to be like, you know, how it's supposed to be. But she made me a mask and it's my only like fun mask that I've had through this whole thing because I don't go anywhere fun that I want to wear a fun mask. And when we started doing fun things again, you didn't have to wear a mask. I don't know. We're back to them anyway. So maybe I should make myself a fun Halloween mask. Maybe I should learn. But now I'm just going to sew all of these and honestly... I, if I've learned anything about sewing since I got my sewing machine last year, it's that sewing isn't hard. Cutting up fabric is hard. It honestly is the most time consuming and annoying part of the process. When I have something to sew, all I can think about is how long is it going to take me to cut it? Like I don't even care how long it takes me to actually sew it because it's not going to be as long as it takes to cut it. Do you like my little leopard? sewing kit. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot I made this. This is so cute. I made this out of felt. It's a little um, cactus. Like, you know how most of the time the um, pin cushions in the store are like a tomato? And I forget why. There's like a reason for it historically. I mean a cactus. Isn't it so cute? <laughs> Market 32. You can call the cats at 69 cats. Go online at tcgunnacats.com for all your ticket information. <laughs> All 
All right, you guys, I'm in the attic again, but for fun reason this week, I am finally getting around to my fall decorating. I talked about it like two, three vlogs ago, and I didn't want to do it too early, but then the dumpster came. I had that unexpected long day at work. We brought Peanut to the baseball game, and then here I am. Um, <laughs> we just got back from a clam bake, a union clam bake, which is the equivalent of like a work picnic or a work banquet for Mike's job. Um, the union he's in that I used to be in because we used to work together throws a clam bake every year and I ate 41 clams. I broke my previous record of 36, but there has to be like an asterisk asterisk or something next to that because they were very small. They actually are having a clam shortage right now. So Spad, the union president and our very good friend, um, he told us that there was a clam shortage. So they almost didn't have clams for the clam bake, but I probably ate more than anyone there. It was funny because they, they had other things to eat like burgers, hot dogs, corn on the cob, mac and cheese. I had a little bit of mac and cheese. Like I went up to the buffet and only got mac and cheese because I was waiting for the clams. The clams came out probably like 15 minutes after the rest of the food. So like as everyone was eating their dinner, I was just staring at where I knew they were going to put the clams because it was the only empty food thing and it was next to all the melted butter like in little plastic cups. So I was just like staring, waiting. And as soon as the woman came out, I got up and I was the first one there. And then then when they ran out and they had to bring more out, I was the first one there when they brought more out and that's how I was able to eat 41. Don't worry, there were still, like it wasn't like I took them all, like everyone who wanted clams got clams. I was just the first. So I have my main fall bin. Uh, all of my decorations are really scattered, like there's stuff everywhere, some of it is in the wrong containers because I couldn't get to the containers I had put it in because it was such a mess in here. So I'm going to grab like things little by little. There's also some Halloween in here. Like here's my Halloween towels, but I'm not ready for those yet. But next week on Wednesday, Stephanie is going to come over and help me organize all of the decorations. And I figure it's a good time to do it when a lot of them are already out and on display because I feel like it's a good time to do it when um, a lot of them are out of the bins because then there will be empty bins to like put stuff in as we like go through it. So she's going to help me with that Wednesday and then hopefully all of my decorations will be in the correct, like all the Christmas will be together, all the Halloween will be together, all the fall will be together. And then I have a little bit of Easter, but only because like other people gave it to me. I don't really decorate for Easter. Maybe I will this year because it'll all be like in one container and easily accessible. But my main things are fall, Christmas, and Halloween. So she's gonna help me with that. But today I'm gonna do the majority of my decorating. Remember I made this last year? I'm happy that it's still intact. Oh, Bob the Cobb. I love him so much. Mike's grandma gave him to me. This will be his second year with me. Oh, he's so special to me. See, this is so annoying and it's exactly why I need to do this with Stephanie. All spring and summer, I was looking for this and this and it was underneath all of the fall stuff. So like this isn't even technically a spring item. This is like something I have in my office all the time. And I was looking for it when I got my wedding lanterns because I wanted to see what it would look like with flowers spilling out of them. And I couldn't find it. And that was when I realized it wasn't there. No idea where it went. It's at the bottom of the fall decorations. Like this is what happens when your house is a mess. So that won't happen again because we're gonna fix it on Wednesday.
So I know it wasn't a huge transformation when I added the fall decorations, but it is all I have. I always think I have so many decorations and then I put them out and then it's not that many, but I always stop myself from buying more because I'm like, I already have so much. It looks like more when it's all stored, but it doesn't look like that much when it's out on the shelves and stuff. But that was yesterday. Today is the first football Sunday of the year. So I have my Eagles shirt and I have my Eagles slippers. Peppy's already cheering. The game hasn't even started. But what I wanted to say yesterday about the decorations is, yes, Peppy. <laughs> Can I vlog please? Thank you. Peanut's watching the pregame show. Got it muted for a second, but she's still into it. I don't know, maybe she has a thing for Aaron Rodgers. Anyway, I decorated the shelves and as you saw, I had to like remove a bunch of stuff to be able to fit all the fall stuff, but there's a lot of it that is just there year round, like my candy box, our Nintendo Switch stuff, some speakers. I didn't put much effort into this because in a few weeks, I'm actually going to be changing this entirely. I'm getting new shelves, I'm getting a new entertainment center, hopefully selling the one we have um, that I hate. It's useful, but I hate it. And the shelves that are like here, they were unfinished from like Lowe's or Home Depot and I painted them and then I added the boxes at the bottom so that I could put a basket for concealed storage and they just weren't as tall as I wanted. I stained them that color so they would kind of match but it was during like the height of the pandemic where like there was shortages of everything so I didn't have a lot of paint to choose from. They were just a mess but it's not a big cost like they were $30 each and I think I used paint we already had in the basement so I didn't have to buy any. I just like couldn't get the kind I wanted. So they served their purpose for like a year and a half and it's time to get something different, something lighter. So even though I think that white furniture can look like it's from Ikea and look cheap, I'm not really going for something that looks expensive. I'm just looking for something that's light and kind of minimal and has a little bit of concealed storage but has the openings for like our DVD player and stuff. So with that, I've also come up with a solution for the speakers and the turntable, which is on here and the receivers underneath and then there's like three speakers that go with it, three to four, depending on how you set it up. So I actually bought something for Mike's birthday. It's kind of going to be an early birthday present because I'm going to have to set it up before his birthday. It's going to go here where the bar cart is. And then the bar cart will either go over here where we keep these like TV trays or it's going to go into storage because I haven't really been drinking. The stuff that sits on it just gets dusty. So we can store the alcohol somewhere else. It'll be fine. So basically I didn't put much effort into all of that because it's all going to be torn apart and taken down in the next couple weeks. And then I'm going to have even more room to put even more stuff on the shelves, stuff that I want there all year round and stuff that's seasonal. And it's going to feel so good to have all this extra space and it's going to come in clutch at Christmas when I have to decorate more because I never even get to use all of my Christmas decorations because I don't have room. So this year is going to be very good. But as it is football Sunday, I'm trying to make some sort of fun snack. If you saw my video two Wednesdays ago, I made these pizza muffins. I <laughs> couldn't get any pizza crust at the grocery store. Like there was none left because it's football week. Like everybody is doing pizza. So I had crescent dough in the fridge and I'm going to try to make these little pizza roll up things that we actually had at our friend's house a couple weeks ago. She made something very similar to this. I'm worried that it's just gonna leak cheese everywhere. That's why I lined the pan with foil. I mean, how bad could it taste? It's a crescent roll pepperoni and cheese. Like, it's gonna be impossible to mess up. But it is pretty messy so far and I've only made two. <laughs> So I just got done with my Sunday afternoon shower and I realized I did not talk about the game at all. 
The Eagles won 38 to 6, which is kind of crazy. I think it's going to be a good year. Um, I found out that my favorite player was put up as a unsigned free agent, Alshon Jeffrey. And, like, I knew this was going to happen because Mike bought me a shirt with his name on it. So, of course, he's not on the team anymore. But the pizza roll-up things were good. I definitely ate five of them. But that's really all I had. And, yeah, good first football Sunday. Not going to lie, I did fall asleep during the game. Not because it was boring, but because I was just so tired. Like, I had such a long week, and I just couldn't help it. I fell asleep for a good 40 minutes. But I got to see the beginning, I got to see the end, and that's all that matters. And, yeah. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.